Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is a new year. I hope everyone is doing well and that your new year is off to a great start. Today I'm sharing with you how I made the crown for my Sauron cosplay, which you'll see right here. You can also see more pictures on my Instagram and also how I styled the wig for this. It's very simple, um, very simple process. It's just time consuming. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first step was to map out a paper dummy of what I was going to build. For that, I used two pieces of printer paper, some painter's tape, you could also use masking tape or scotch tape, and scissors, ruler, and something to write with. I also had my foam head, uh, my foam wig head on a stand so I could measure it out with the wig that I was going to use to see if I could get the appropriate measurements. For the spikes, I measured out a T-shape on a piece of paper and then measured out three inches on the bottom, four inches on the top to kind of have that offset and then drew that into kind of like a weird lopsided, I guess, oblong diamond shape. The lines intersecting in the middle there is where the ridges of the diamond were going to be. For the smaller spikes, I did the exact same thing that I did for the larger ones, except use smaller measurements. After I was done with that, I marked where the gem was going to go and I stuck it to the paper band. For the gemstone, I was using thermoplastic pellets, which are plastic pellets that get moldable when you stick them in boiling water. So you just have to boil some water. When it is done boiling, you take it off the heat and you put some of these plastic pellets in. And as they heat up and become moldable, they clump together and turn translucent, as you can see right here in this video. It was really neat to watch. And once they were done in there for about 60 seconds, you can spoon them out. This is so cool. This turned into this after 60 seconds in a thing of near boiling water. It feels like putty. It's great. It's kind of hot, but like you can work with it and it doesn't feel like it's hardening right away. It says it takes about 10 minutes for it to like start hardening and setting. This ended up being a really nice material to work with. It was easily molded and it didn't stick too badly. I ended up making two just in case when they hardened, I liked one better than the other. Now for the spikes. I used air dry foam clay that I found at Hobby Lobby. I also found the plastic pellets at Hobby Lobby. It was kind of difficult to get out of the packaging because it was really sticky and gloopy as you can see here. It was, once it had set out into the air a little bit, created kind of a skin that was easier to work with. It didn't stick to things too much. I traced out the um, spike design onto masking tape on my cutting board and molded the spike here. I was working on the front spike so I had to make a little pocket for the gem and there is the fully hardened gem right there made out of those pl uh, plastic pellets and when it was dry it turned completely white again. The original crown design that I was using called for six spikes of each size but I only did four. Moving on to the wig. This is a wig that I've used for so many looks so far. I got it off Amazon for like $45 it's a lace front and it has been so nice to wear and work with and I love it. We'll definitely be getting another one. I had to relax all the remaining curls out of the uh, wefts and then brush it out with a wide tooth comb and then let it dry because it does get wet using the clothes steamer. I ended up cutting a good six inches off because of how uneven it was and then I just kept straightening out those ends so I'd have a nice straight wig versus the wavy one that originally came. The foam clay spikes needed 48 hours to completely set, and when they were set, I used wood glue to prime them for painting. And then I painted them with a brushed metal acrylic paint, and that looked really good because it gave it like a hammered metal look. After everything was painted, it was time to assemble the band. I cut out the band using the template I had made, glued it, and folded it in half for a sturdier structure. I waited till after I had everything glued onto the band before I painted the band itself. 
I stuck some Velcro on the end using hot glue so it was better to stick and used contact cement to glue the spikes onto the crown itself. This is what it looked like all laid out. The contacts I used were sent to me by Moco Queen to try. If you want to get 33% off an order of cosplay contacts, you can go to their website and use my code bronze and Moco Queen. This is the final look on a little TikTok that I made. It turned out so good. I hope this video was informative and will help you get more comfortable with using new materials in cosplay like the foam clay and the plastic pellets. I really, this is my first time using the plastic pellets as I said before, and I was really impressed with how well they work. If you want more depth videos on how to use these crafting supplies, put that down in the comments below and I will work on getting videos like that out. Don't forget, I do stream on Twitch on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I post videos every single week, so if you liked this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notifications on when I post. And as always, go follow me over on my other social medias like on Instagram and Twitter for more cosplay pictures of behind the scenes. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to comment down below what you want to see in the future, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.